Oh, yes. uh, which is a very interesting matchup. I don't know if I've ever <laughs> ever seen it before. <laughs> and to be honest, Banjo and Kazooie is such a rare character. I'd, it's taking me a second to find them on the character swaps. But uh, we're going right into it here. Uh, both players, uh, obviously, gentlemen in 2 PS1, uh, where we saw some unfortunate teleport SDs uh, from Ford's Palutena earlier. Uh, but it just be, might be just coming down to the weird, the fact that this is a weird ledge or something. I don't know exactly, but uh, I'm excited to see what these footsies look like. Razzy obviously pretty competent to use that uh, reverse down special. That bomb is just such a good thing for controlling neutral with uh, with Banjo and Kazooie. But yeah, these projectiles are really kind of keeping Ford out for the most part. Uh, not going to get too many big openers, but up tilt neutral air is going to do quite a bit of damage. That neutral air, oh. Get the, the quick suck into the the up air tracing too. Oh, and okay, he does have Kazooie as well. I was wondering what Kirby looks like when he uh, has the the like, Banjo and Kazooie form. But we just get a little necklace and a backpack too. That's actually kind of sick. And I'm not sure exactly where Kazooie comes from though for the special move that he gets. But a low recovery from forward and wow. The extension of that F smash is gonna seal out the first stock. I think maybe just a learning moment to find out, hey, does this F smash actually prioritize over Kirby's uh, recovery? But yeah, I'm seeing that Rezzy has these uh, pellet or egg combos. I know that you can get a lot of out, uh, stuff out of that with Banjo and Kazooie. Uh, it just really comes to some pretty, pretty tight uh, combo competency, really. Okay, but an up smash is gonna seal it out finally there. Flash side special coming out to play. I mean, obviously one of Van Vuelen's strongest tools. But once again, Kirby has the projectile now that he can shoot at you. So, I mean, which one of the big things is, I mean, I did tell everyone this, but Kirby is more of a like showy character, and so when you give Kirby a special ability that, <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, that can kind of force you to have to approach him like uh, this egg does, but oh, I'm not gonna get the hammer call out either. Uh, just a little bit less lag on that side special than he expected. Okay, again, bringing the hammer out. Oh my gosh, what even? Okay. <laughs> that was weird. I, I think he maybe armored through that hammer hedge and got just a really solid sweet spot on a very light Kirby and uh, just deleted Ford stock there. Okay, Razzy doing some good space and kind of adjusting to figuring it out how to ledge trap this Kirby. And a lot of time people are intimidated to contest the up special, but I mean, Razzy's been open to try test things out. Uh, Ford are going to connect for Ford though, and has a ledge trap opportunity himself. Neutral air, the soft hit's going to connect. And upper actually se seems like a pretty strong move, uh, and even has kill potential at extremely high percents. But yeah, straight up smash is not going to connect there. And Razzy going for another. I think egg pellet uh, combo, but just not able to get it just yet. Uh, it can be tough when, when you come in from training mode, getting those combos down into putting them in a real application. So it usually takes people a minute uh, to get them down. But uh, yeah, strong hit forward air is going to finally single it out. We're going to be to a last stock situation here in game one. Has the bomb, getting some chip damage there. Let chopping for forward. I think really both players kind of just kind of figure each other's characters out at this point. I don't know if it comes down to more matchup knowledge, but now yeah, Razzy trying to ledge trap with the egg pellet too, and not getting much traction off of it. Okay, down throw forward air. We get early percent combo. Does quite a bit of damage. Okay, dash attack two. Yeah, Ford's definitely gonna be doing a, a better job of tracing Razzy's options now in the first game. I'm <laughs> 
But man, this last stock situation is really coming down to the wire. One player just needs one strong hit at this point. Not going to get the full neutral air drag down. But the forward air will seal it. And game one goes to Razzy. It sounds like we're getting another gentleman pick. We're going to Fountain of Dreams now. Uh, again, I mean, it's it's fun. You got time to work with, and if you're if you're down for it, I mean, I, I think I, some regions actually had this as a, a viable stage, very early meta, uh, an early stage selection for uh, Smash Ultimate. And we're gonna run it back to the Kirby now for forward. Uh, but Pat and the Dreams to work with now. Uh, obviously we have Triplats. A lot of people, I think in general, were complaining about just the visual uh, distractions of this stage for the most part. I think that it's pretty much it though. Uh, when it comes to the stage not being viable for competitive play. People are deciding against it. All right, both players, I mean, yeah, forward coming out quite a bit stronger. If you can continue to play with advantage here and force Razzy in. It seems like more of the damage that Ford's been able to accumulate is because he's been willing to approach. Oh, and okay, gonna shield through the bomb. That was good. Awareness, but yeah, both players. Oh, gonna get the drag down that time around and set up stage control. I like that option. Uh, the late hit of the side special actually hitting forward there, unfortunately. And Razzy just really putting the pressure on that down tilt from Kirby just reaches so far. Forward air once again connecting though. That move's been working out for, oh, wait a minute. Yeah, Razzy gonna make it back by jumping off of Kirby's head. And we're just back to the footsies. Both players, oh, geez. Yeah, Razzy's been able to call out the air to airs with the forward air pretty consistently now. And Ford once again working from behind. Kirby's win con or, or kill condition at this point is pretty finite and it looks like Lyra is going to join me once again but oh really good check chase there from Ford to take that stock with the up smash uh very reminiscent of like more of a oh my gosh that was terrifying uh more of a like fox tech chase essentially but uh not going to get the down throw into Ford air I think what I most often see from Kirby's in that position is the down air follow-up but at the same time Ford does quite a bit of damage and sends the opponent off stage and yeah side special is going to call out air to air once again Razzy getting most of their damage I think with these air to air callouts, but jeez, that actually seems like such a viable uh, option to contest Kirby's recovery. Yeah, that one thing is good against anything that doesn't like snap in the light side. I think yeah. they're like a bug. Oh, he's out of one day. Yeah. Alright, and both players at a high percent. No wondering in play. It's gonna take. Oh, Whoa. an up smash at 112 after hit. Kirby's yeah. light, I, I guess, but yeah, still. Oh, does get kind of a, a quick combo yeah. there with the pellets. Uh, those are more like the really crafty combos that I've, I've been seeing recently from Banjo and Kazooie players. Yeah, there's a lot of potential in it. I heard there's a tech recently too that there's like a machine gun uh, version of the, the, yeah. <laughs> the pellet. I haven't watched the video yet. Yeah, but it, it goes insanely fast and. Yeah, I'll have to, I'll, I'll, that's one of the things I need to write down I want to look up today. Because uh, if, if I see that in tournament, I'm going to be like, wait a minute. Is, is Banjo-Kazooie more viable now? Because <laughs> you have like a crazy mechanic, but... Yeah, that that egg is still pretty decent for like setup sometimes, but... The fact that it has like that like zero to death potential or whatever is crazy. Yeah, you can do really big combos with it. Oh, but yeah, once again, a hard call out with the F smash and air to air. We're calling out aerials once again. Razzy's gonna seal out that second game. Yeah, that's, that's, that's 
Yeah, he's been. I think he's been bringing out a little bit more often here, because uh, he just like enjoys the character. Whereas Palu, I think, has been more of a project of just trying to be a little bit more successful competitively. Yeah. Yeah, I think the Kirby players that I've played against that have, have been really good are just ones that like really grind on memorizing the matchups, right? Like how to play against particular characters, particular ways, and strictly only holding to that. Because otherwise, it can be tough to play like a general Kirby neutral. Oh yeah, like, that's always the rough thing is when it's like a character who's like mid low tier, but you have to focus really hard on them to like get like good results from them. Yeah, it, yeah, it takes a lot of work, and I'm impressed with people that do that. But at the same time, you could always pick up a high tier and <laughs> have have more early success, right? But uh, we're gonna do a gentleman once again to an old stage. Or, yeah, exactly. This was legal in like... It was legal in Brawl at least. <laughs> I don't think it was legal in Smash 4. Yeah, we had it legal at Ultimate for like maybe a month or something yeah, when the game first came out. But it was pretty quickly taken away because of how broken the freaking uh, slants are on the corner. So. Yeah, also the... Uh, <laughs> the on the sun, I think the to get rid of them, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Oh really? Oh, I didn't know that. That's funny. Uh, Dang, I don't know. I don't mind. It, it, people were arguing too that like, um, what was the the po other Pokemon stage? Not Kalos. Um, it's extremely dark. It has weird. Uh, yeah, you know that. Uh, people were arguing that that. That one should be uh, tournament viable because it could be like a counter pick to like teleport recoveries because it like really messes with teleport recoveries. Yeah, I'm like I'm like mixed on those. It's like having more jank it is not really a good thing, but also the Oh my gosh! Oh, that move is so strong. Yeah, all the Kirby is just like a balloon. <laughs> That's a good way to put it. Yeah. All right, put the gun coming out once again, just trying to interrupt Kirby and trying to set up some set of neutral. But I mean, really, Ford's been hiding in the air so often, whereas a lot of Kirby's combo starters are on the ground. So that may be one thing to kind of check himself on. When yeah. it comes to, I don't even see down tilt coming out too often, and that's like his biggest combo starter. Yeah, I think he might have some trouble, like, just because of all the, like, eggs coming out. Yeah, definitely. Getting, like, a grounded combo starter going. Oh, it gets the uh, up tilt. Yeah, Connect clean two piece. Oh, but the up smash once again. Some terrified? Yeah, okay, good good timing there from Ford to recover. Oh, good. Wow, this Jeez. Stage must have like a small side blast and also if we the kill. Okay, down throw up air is gonna connect to Wastes a Wonder Wing going the opposite direction, unfortunately. Not, <laughs> might have meant to do the reverse grenade, but yeah, they <laughs> I wonder if it works like Wario's does where uh, if you like eat a grenade or eat a bomb or something, you blow up, but also puts out like a pretty big like explosion hitbox. I don't know if you've seen that before, but yeah, I've seen. I know Wario can. I don't know if Kirby has. Like, or he just like takes damage like DDD does. Yeah. All right, but. Right. Now, I feel like Kirby would maybe benefit from like having Daniel's copy ability. Like, yeah, exactly. I mean, yeah, if you give Kirby a projectile, it, it forces the, your opponent to come in, and having to go like go in on Kirby is it, extremely intimidating. So, yeah, you don't see the copy abilities like come out too often. It's just hard to get like an inhale off, I believe. Yeah. I want to say that I've seen people combo into it, but even getting like combo started. Oh, jeez. Okay, that's not going to take it just yet. He tried to catch the grenade and got wondering for it. Uh, Fold of a little early on that Wonder Ring, though. Mm. But even the lasting hitbox on the Wonder Ring is scary to work around, but yeah, Ford fi fortunately able to work around it there in that corner, but... Yeah, we got it. It is a pretty tight situation. <laughs> yeah. Either Oh, that's gonna kill him, probably. Oh, up smash taking it, and we're going to a game four situation. 
Yeah, it's really small. Yeah, I didn't realize that. That would have killed on like Smash or whatever. I'm gonna throw the batch of taquitos in really quick. You're going to Memento? That's stated all. It's pretty good. Persona 4, Bando gets the, the high ground to start, but he gets comboed. <laughs> This is, alright, so this stage is like very, very big, but I feel kind of hits like the projectile character, right? But at the same time, these guys are just like having fun with it. We've seen Ford playing a little more grounded though, working around with projectiles. Oh, that does not feel so much already. Died so early from that. Yeah, I mean, that's definitely what you need to see. <laughs> I step away for two seconds and we're on another gentleman's stage. Yeah. Oh, he got the banjo power. Kirby, this is like the most swaggy Kirby, I think, I copy, I think. I think he has like a plush Kazooie in his backpack. Oh, that's what it is? Yeah, it's like literally a plush of Kazooie. Pretty cute. That's hilarious. I want to slow down the animation and see. Does he like pull it out of his backpack? Yeah, he does. Oh, wow. Oh, but... okay. Upmatch bringing this to a one stock game. Last stock and the Kazooie is on deck. Wow. Oh, here it goes. <laughs> Zero to 33. I love that. The tile. <laughs> I love it so much. It's been hip. Oh. We got four minutes, it's the last dog, you can slow it down if you really want to. Okay. Gotta, gotta calm down a little bit there, maybe. Oh man, yeah. Man, we're seeing, I think Kirby with the Kazooie, it's like, he's so low to the ground, so it's hard to avoid. Yeah, it shoots oh, quite low, but Porter? Oh, yeah, once again, working for Razzy. Fun. That looks match, so. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I love the gentleman oh, stages. It, it's been so long since I've seen those stages in general. Yeah. Okay. Because like I'm dying at four there at like seventy, but I'm like charging a four smash when you're living. All right, AA battery chips on stream. Uh, Luge Frog Taco play whatever you would like. Uh, these are the last two matches for Round Robin. Yeah. yeah. 